Martin back over the mark there. Inside 50. And Ebony Antonio is not paid the mark, but she's paid a push in the back. Such a versatile player. Normally a beautiful kick for goal as well. And that is no exception. Beautiful finish from Ebony Antonio. Looks for a target. Staunton again one-on-one. -on -one. Ball just not quite being put to her advantage early stages, but she follows up with a good tackle, and she's going to be rewarded for holding the ball. Let's see if she runs out to the right here. She does, and she delivers. And the Giants get the quick response. Miller leads out. Clever tap over the top. To Huckerina did well, and the hand pass from McMahon to East. To Hyde, to Houghton. Beautiful linking handballs from the Dockers, and Houghton's on the end of it. Close to goal. Beck Beeson eyes the goals now, kicks towards it, and hits the left upright. And she's down afterwards. She's clutching at that ankle. Breed Stack plays on quickly, took the advantage, and found her partner in crime, Cora Staunton. Staunton kicks towards goal and threads the eye of the needle. Perfect execution. Sets a task though for Randall. And Houghton and Miller are waiting to pounce. Beautiful tap back from Houghton to Miller. She couldn't quite put it to her advantage. And then she was thrown off the ball. Houghton though snaps around the body and she puts the Dockers back in front. Mackle tried to free up Morford there, but it comes out to the Dockers, and Bauer sends it inside 50 with a torpedo. Which way will it bounce? It might go all the way! Kiara Bowers with something special! Bar to come through, Parker stripped of it, Miller comes through, tucks the ball under the arm, goes inside 50, hoping for McMahon. Stevenson brings it to the ground, great pick up from McMahon. And then there's time to assess and give it to the captain. And Captain Haley Miller delivers a captain's goal. Free kick here to Dana East. The umpire's just conferring here. There. The siren is gone. And it's going to be... What? Is it going to be a 50-metre penalty? Who haven't scored in the second quarter. And the Dockers have kicked four goals for... And they hold... A very strong, ominous lead now at the major break. The mainstays of this Fremantle side, O'Sullivan and Miller, over the past few years. Here's an opportunity for Sargent. Inside 50, and Ty comes out and takes a strong mark. In the hands of Tia Toff. Inside 50, one-on-one, -on -one, Michaela Hyde. Strong above her head on the third bite. Takes the mark. Miller wants it directly in front. And she has it, and she was made to earn it. Positioning of both rucks has been very good today. They've just been a kick away from the footy and have taken some really strong contested marks. Speaking of strong, how about that tackle from Smith? This Making... is the excitement, the energy that GWS need. And Privatelli, one of the best contested marks in the competition, judged that to the perfection. Geez, that's a lot of courage from someone that's come back from that injury to still be that physical in the game and that's obviously a big strength but credit to her for how well she does it and McMahon foot scrape looks like she's going to have a crack at the goals here it's a high kick it'll go right to the line and McMahon it might go all the way and that is a special moment for Anne McMahon This time going the way of Hyde. Houghton is one-on-one -on -one inside 50. It heads in that direction, and Gemma Houghton takes the mark. Too strong for Garnett. Three seconds left. Cat Smith passes it off. And unfortunately for the Giants, no goal since quarter time, but the Dockers making an ominous statement away from home in a home game. 7-10-50 to the Dockers, defeating the Giants 2-8. And, and they finish round two on top of the AFLW ladder.